Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League Season 2021, Week 11. I'm your host, Dorgard, with my very special co-host this week, Malachi. Hello. So yeah, due to some just, you know, real-life circumstances, birthdays, scheduling, all the fun, uh, we are doing something a little different with co-commentating, but Malachi's here, and if you've uh, checked out on the Discord the Smash Bros. streams, you would have already heard him at least a few times before. Yeah, been, been a while since I've been here, though. Yeah, though, I think you've also been on all the Dragon Cast, even though it's been a minute. But yeah, welcome aboard. Mm-hmm. Good to be here. Good to be here. So yeah, what we have going on this week, as we can see here, lots of competition still in all the standings and a North Kai Divisional. So all those tied scores are going to get broken up. So let's start over at North Kai with Bujins at the top with six and four, with Hybrids at four and six, and Androids and Budokai at three and seven. And in East Kai... Uh, we got uh, Earth Defenders at six and four, Namek at six and four, Kaiju 5 and 5, and GT at 4 and 6. And over in West Kai, we have Resurrected Warriors holding up a very fancy 10 0, Rugrats at 5 and 5, Royals at 4 and 6, and Cinema at 3 and 7. And finally, uh, we got South Kai, uh, Cold and Muscle tied at the top with 7 and 3, uh, Derp in third at five and five and sentai unfortunately in last at two and eight so yeah it may look like some teams are certainly struggling a lot more than others but no team as of right now is guaranteed out of playoffs granted i think only one team is 100 percent in playoffs and that would be resurrected warriors so still lots up on the line for these last five weeks Oh yeah, I, we most of the divisions are very close. Like they're, as you said, only Resurrected Warriors are guaranteed in. Um, every other division, uh, your leaders could be uh, sitting out on the. You know, they they could not make it to the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, it's it certainly means that there's at least still a lot to uh, go for. So it's nice that there's still a full competition set up. Shall we get rolling into our first match? And the first of the divisionals this week, we have the North Kai Hybrids versus Bujins. Oh, uh, this should be fun. Uh, hybrids are our uh, Saiyan human uh, kids. So um, it's mostly Gohan, versions of Gohan and Trunks at the moment, uh, followed by uh, your favorite team, uh, Dor. This is the team I coach for those that are uh, not a part of the Discord. It's my own home team, the Bujins. So, yeah, we get us loading in then because this is going to be a very fun match. Indeed. Um, I believe we're starting with Ultimate Gohan and Evil Boo. Incorrect. Uh, Gohan. Uh, we have yeah. both Ultimate Gohans against each other to start us off. Yep. Uh, don't know how I got tripped up there, but, you know, Buhan versus Ultimate Gohan, uh, Buhan running uh, attack plus one with another attack plus one as a boost. Uh, Dende is serious, quick, fast attack, combo master, and master throw. Um, on Broly AI. It's a very, very heavy melee build. Yeah, and Ultimate Gohan has attack plus one, quick, fast attack, serious, turn of life with an attack plus one boost as well. Uh, I don't know the AI, this is just off the top of my head, but he's run the same build most this season, so. Pretty much had that, yep. but yeah, been pretty close so far. That pretty clutch dodge by Buhan uh, almost hit a, took a full charge Kamameha to the face. That's not a good way to start, but uh, they no. are piling on the combos now. They are. They're, they they both know a lot is potentially on the line here, um, and they're giving it their all. Um, very even fight, and well, I mean, it's... I did so many practice matches, I was about to start clicking buttons when it loaded, and then I remembered I'm not supposed to. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything, because it's AI, AI, but I was definitely, like, tempted for a second there. <laughs> now we have a normal clash here, and Ultimate Gohan wins it. So, uh, it was looking like Buon was making a lead, but Ultimate Gohan has clawed it back with a few combos, and yeah. both have very high attacks, so unsurprising. 
yeah, they, they both just have very high attack. Um, I mean, Buhan is already pulling it back from, you know, that almost bar of lead that Ultimate Gohan had. Um, that just all those boosts, I mean, it, it, it Ooh, makes the damage quick fire go away. Me quick. Off. Yeah, that <laughs> quick fire was 8k. Well, oh. it's a good after image, but. Ultimate Gohan will take first blood here, though an extremely close way to start. And Kid Buu coming in now. Yep. And I mean, considering what we have seen Ultimate Gohan do to, do to teams in the past, uh, and there he goes, uh, I think this works out really good for you. Well, Hopefully, run off uh, these two builds real quick, because uh, this might be going pretty fast here. Oh, and that's going to be interesting. Uh -oh. And yeah, he oh, got hit out of it. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Kid Buu, key plus one, Fighting Spirit, Savior, Eternal Life, TN AI. So lots of B2s. Maybe we'll see another Planet Burst soon. Uh, future Gohan running Super plus two, key minus one, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Launch of Support, Kibito Secret Art on Krillin AI. Again, both of these are B2 oriented. Um, future is meant to kind of, you know, he, he is meant to only throw out three or four B2s, but they're meant to hurt. Uh, he's thrown out two for about 10k so far, so uh, he's certainly been piling the damage and stopping Kid Buu from getting up to using another Planet Burst. Oh yeah, and... Ooh, nice oh, grab. Wow. Nice grab. Uh, you can't even be mad when that happens. Like, it's just awesome. Oh, I can see. still be mad. Fair, you can. The rest of us can't. So, fun news, last season these two were in a division, and they had one of the closest divisionals. So, uh, lots of hype set up for this one already, and it's already been pulling off. They've so far been very close so far in every matchup. So, it did yeah. come down till the end, where I think it was Evil Boo versus Kid Gohan, where Evil Boo was just a little more on his game than Kid Gohan. But otherwise, oh. super close. And I think it was just about yeah. the same lineups, too. I want to say so, but I'd have to go back and look. Um, I mean, I know they had different build on Sword Trunks, and also didn't run Sword Trunks in that match. They also had Super Saiyan, as we see here. Though a nice two bar, or bar and a half lead for hybrids right now. Yeah, um, Kid Buu just could not get in. Like, every time he tried that pinball panic, um, he just got stopped. And that's not what you want to see. And unfortunately, uh, uh, that Planet Burst getting cancelled kind of spelled the death of him. This will just not kill because it only does 8,000, so he needed one more melee hit in that combo. And unfortunately, his Key Blast only do 20 damage, so it won't work. But that will! Well, that will. And um, look at that, we're back to even already! Yep. Also, I do wonder what would happen if Special Beam Cannon hit one of those crashes that have, like, the super priority like uh, Frieza's or um, Burning Tornado. Yeah, I know Spopovich's loses to most beams. I've seen it lose to yep. almost every beam, actually. Yep, same with Aider, and I think Nam also have the same problem where it's like, if anything, you know, if they get breathed on the wrong way, they get knocked out of it. So what are the builds of our two combatants right now? Also, the poll is showing yep. Bujins with a slight lead in the polls at 57 to 42, yep. though. Again, hard divisional with both lo using lots of boosts. Yeah, uh, Spopovich is running attack plus two, latent energy, light body, master throw, quick fast attack, launch of support, and Mirage as a boost. Um, he, th th this is the person he is supposed to be dodging all those barrages against. Um, has not worked out for him yet, um, but he is trying to do that damage. Uh, Might Trump actually hit 20k this week. All right, he hit. 20k this week. Nice job, Spopovich. Yeah, Trunks is running attack plus two, quick fast attack, Dende, serious, persistent threat, latent energy, and Brawly's running on Ginyu AI. So another uh, very heavy melee build um, with persistent threat to help him be a little dodgy. Well, I'm going to be honest, I think I got to give this to hybrids right now. Because Evil Boo hasn't even finished taking out Sword Trunks, and there's still Team Gohan in the back. And we know how much Team Gohan can be. And Kid Trunks, or uh, Sword Trunks, could still tag, too, making it just even the worse. So, yeah. Spopovich I mean, totally yeah. dropped the ball this week, unfortunately. But you never know, Evil Boo is Evil Boo. And we've seen him do some crazy stuff, but he is almost down to one bar. And even with Dende's, I don't know if that's going to be enough to take out all of Team, because he still hasn't finished Sword. Yeah, he is really struggling against Sword this week, and Teen, even at his worst, I think, 
Uh, it's over. Yeah. Um, he, yeah, there there he goes. And unfortunately... A dominant he's... victory. Oh, I mean, that that's exactly what Hybrids was looking for. Um, Fujins with Lord two uh, 50k health deficit or larger losses in a row. So looking to have a rough end of the season right now. Uh, might be best to not go to playoffs because I don't think we could win anything. Uh, well, uh, hopefully y'all will break that streak uh, after this week um, and continue, continue to be the scary team we know you guys can be. I think Trunks hit a near 80k this week, so congrats to Sword Trunks for uh, really yeah. popping off. But on to match number two, we have Derp versus Namek. Uh, both at very similar records and uh, both doing some interesting stuff. Namek had some test builds last week, and uh, this week we have Derp bringing in a new member in Kui. So there's a lot of potential here. Yeah. Um... It should be interesting, because uh, I believe they benched Dodoria for Kui. Let me they double did. check. Yeah, and I mean, it, it's definitely a, a move for testing. Um, and I hope it works for them. Um, Kui, we, we've seen some interesting stuff from him before. Um, I, I don't get the feeling he'll be able to replace Dodoria for it. Um, but... You know, who knows? Maybe Kui will surprise us. He this. has just a better natural charge rate, so at the very least, he's going to have a little less deficit, even though he can't use Savior as well. So uh, we have two pretty titans of melee starting up here. What, what are their builds looking like? Yeah, uh, Vegito is uh, here. Just a second. Uh, attack plus two, serious quick fast attack. Launches Dendes and a limiter on Ginyu AI. Uh, late Piccolo is running his normal build of attack plus two, eternal life, serious quick fast attack on Chaozu AI. So I mean, no changes are... there. Oh, light grenade. Yeah, and it's and back I mean, to even. Yep. And I mean, he's just been so dominant um, this season. Like, I believe late Piccolo is, if he's not number one, he is very close. Now he's had a uh, lot of he's had a couple of rough weeks, so I know he's not number one, but he's yeah, he's uh, he's averaging 62k and he's number four in the league right right now. And so, uh, I mean, and he's he's proven it. Um, you know, you said he had attack plus two, but he's just hit like four light grenades in a row. I'd like to point out and like destroyed Vegito and forcing him to tag already. Yeah, well, I mean, light grenade is just a scary B2. There's another one. Um, and it's just, it, it, it's the shiny, um, the AI sees the shiny to go check out what it is. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't run back into that, uh, scatter finger beams. So yeah, what's Salsa yeah, bringing in? Is he on his normal defense plus eternal life? I believe so. Um, Salsa is, yep. Uh, defense plus two, attack minus one, latent energy, indignation, eternal life, piccolo AI. So can, can Piccolo AI outsmart Piccolo? Yeah, I think we've made that joke many a times, and unfortunately I think late Piccolo just doesn't care for it. Oh, finally yeah. getting a dodge off the uh, cherry bullet here. Might allow him to actually get some damage, but late Piccolo's lost not even a bar. Granted, you could I think he's lost a bar, but he's healed it up. Though, he has not gotten a serious boost yet. Yeah, well, hey, uh, Salza is in um, max power mode. Maybe we will see a Blade Rush hit, and that's probably going to do quite a bit of damage if he hits. Yeah, he has a um, uh, finish sign stacked on, too, with his... Uh... Oh, this will do oh. a good chunk. Nice 13.5k. Oh. That's what you need. Uh, I mean, we. I said, I mean, he... He, he needed to hit with an ult. He hit with an ult. Just not the one we we thought he should hit with. He's going back up to max power, though, so he could go for one now, though. This is a very good map for late Piccolo, because Hellzone Grenade does not get as destroyed here. And here we go. How much will this do if it hits? Oh, it's going to hit. He went for a grab. And it hits all of it. Oh. Funny enough, it did less than his full power energy wave that Salsa threw out. Uh, yeah. Oh, and he wins uh, the clash. Things are just not going into Derp's favor this match. They are not. Um, 
I mean, Lee Piccolo is just continuing his dominant performances that he's had this season. Um, although maybe Salza will be able to finish him off. I mean, Salza's um, done the damage at least. He's taken out basically all three bars of Lee Piccolo. He's at least tried to drag this. And Vegito's not dead. So Vegito could come in and have like a good matchup and destroy someone. But yeah, Salza taking him out and he could potentially ult King Piccolo coming in. Yeah, that would be good for Derp. Like he, he needs to hit he just needs to hit with something. Is Ooh. all it comes down to. Ooh. Oh, and a finish sign means right. he's gonna die to the Samson. Yep. Alright, so the poll is showing fifty seven percent to Namek, forty two to Derp. Uh looking a little more in Namek's favor. And it's uh, certainly feeling a lot more in Namek's favor with uh, almost two characters gone for Derp and only one for Namek right now. So what is yeah. King Piccolo bringing to this fight? King Pick is bringing... A key plus one, Kibito Secret Art, Launcher Support, Indignation, Savior, Yajirobe AI. Um, so, spam. The, he, he is all about the spam. Hopefully plus we're not going to see any ults. Yep. Both were in max power, and a ping pong combo will take out Vegeta. Vegito. Yep. That happens. Oh, and there he is! The man, the myth, the legend himself! It's Kui! Alright, let's see what Kui can do. He is running... I believe it's the normal build that Dodoria had. Yep. Uh, defense plus three, tech minus one, latent energy, fighting spirit, combo master, launches support on Goku AI. The only um, difference is he dropped Savior and gained Combo Master, because as I said, his ult's a little less applicable being a rush, and I think they didn't want to risk him rushing into a beam, so they just gave Combo Master to boost his melee instead. That is understandable. And Ooh, he blocks that. That's good. I thought he was just going to rock get hit by that next range ult. Yeah, but, like, Kui, why block it? Why not just, uh, you know, dodge? You know, I think Derp will take block over die. So, uh... Fair. Fair. Currently, they are fair. doing a lot of the die. Um, yes. That that they are. Um... I mean, but it... Oh, yes. That yeah. is right, chat. The T-Poser. His first match. Will he T-Pose create too much uh, havoc in the Namek's ranks? Can he have a moral victory today? Oh, maybe. Uh, there's a barrage. Oh, man, that, that did not do a lot of damage. Yeah, fortunately, uh, it's not the biggest hitting barrage, and I think a little bit of it missed. Ooh, another Samus, and he has been on point with those today. He has. He, he has known just when to hit to do the damage, and, you know... I, now, to be fair, uh, Kui has been going... Not quite even, but he he's been doing enough to where uh, he he has not been helping them catch up, but he has been at least staying relatively close. Yeah, he had a third B twos that got countered by Samuelson too, so he's certainly been trying to throw out stuff, just not quite going. And yep. a nice tag, oh, nice that's tag. A very good idea, bringing in Hercule to try to get them going back on the right track here. Maybe we could see a Mr. Boo, champ. Or, or a present. A present works too. That, Just not going to kill. Yeah. You'll do a lot though. Uh, I mean, at this point, you just take it and hope that he can kill King Piccolo before too much more damage is done. Like that. So what do our current combatants bring to the table? As a, Might get to see a good bit more builds than I thought. <laughs> Maybe anticipated at first. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Um, Hercule running super plus two, key minus one, indignation, fighting spirit, power of rage, light body, savior, Chaotzu AI. And Tambourine is running defense plus two, Dende is serious, latent energy, fighting spirit, Chaotzu AI. So lots of, you know, just a little bit of everything and survivability. It's not a bad build for Tambourine. Oh, that that's going to hurt. The champ getting another false courage off too. Yeah, certainly. Uh, champ has been doing some good work to start pulling it back. Hit a few present bombs here, and that super plus two on it does a lot of damage. Uh, Tamarine back to his normal build. It seems like he they tried giving some attack plus one last week. See if a little bit more would help, but that loss of defense he just broke. 
And he seems to be back yeah. in form now, which is very unfortunate for Derp trying to make this comeback here. Yeah, but I mean, the, oh, this present bomb is going to hurt so much. Ooh, and a nice and tag. And tags. Like, honestly, even if he oh, doesn't get Could we tag. see an Ah Lord Frieza? Oh, ah, yeah. Lord Frieza! He's over there! This might kill? Ah, uh, just not Wait. enough. That is... That is a weak ultimate. Oh, well, he's got a lot of defense, to be fair. Because he was at two bars, so he has defense plus two and latent stacked up pretty high. And there's no super plus on Kui. But hey, that's a good super trade right there. It and they've is. dragged this out, and there's only one guy left, Nail, who's been yeah. uh, ar arguably the worst character for Namek, too, against uh, an untested Kui and a Hercule, who has Savior and, like, super plus 3.5 when he comes back in. Ooh, yeah. That's a nice uh, combo. Yeah, speaking of Nail, running attack plus one, Kibito Secret Art, Latent Energy, Quick Fast Attack, Light Body, and Savior on Broly AI. All right, well, you got to hit uh, this old Hercule to, to try. Yeah. Herc really needs to hit this ult. It, like, that that will be... If he cannot hit this ult, it's probably over. Although, to be fair, that the He broke the ship! With... His grab, it's so powerful! Oh, here here comes a present. And present bombs will do it, too. Nail, you only oh. got one bar to do. Namek's probably sweating, though, because uh, Hercules, he's doing what he's got to do. Yeah, he is, and let's face it, a dynamic messing up punch, or oh, another present. And he's this not, is he's all, not this doing rushes. Even... He doesn't want to get into clashes. He's just throwing out tons of presents today. No ults, no dynamic, just enjoy your presents. It's it's a holiday for Hercule today. Apparently. He heard it was Ryan and DJ's birthdays, so he brought all the gifts. Ah, see, that's why oh. he's been throwing presents. Man, his grab really only does 500. It is rough. Oh, less than 500. Oh, a champion style. Uh, oh, he is. and a clash. He's got to win. Got to keep it going. It's close. Oh, but that attack oh. plus one. Honestly, great fight by Derp. They really did almost pull it back. It was a yeah. great fight by them. Yeah, like... I, I would definitely be happy with what I saw from Kui, considering what he was fighting up against. Um, and then the champ just coming through. I mean, if we re-ran uh, this, if we did fight again, there's a chance that Derp, or there's probably a very good chance Derp wins it because of how close it got. Because if Vegito oh, yeah. did, like, one more bar somewhere, instantly change. Yeah, like, it, if Vegito had done a little bit more, um, you know, like, if, if he had managed to do a little bit to King Piccolo early on instead of just dying of that ping-pong combo, like, if the champ had done a Mr. Boo, like, anything changes, and a derp has this. So, that was a very close fight, very hard fought from both sides. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's going to do it for Episode 1 of Dragon Ball Z League Season 2021, Week 11. As always, check in the description down below for links to the Discord where you can join teams, be a part of the discussion, make suggestions for the League. We have surveys, all kinds of stuff in there. There's also a link to the website where you can get all of the information. So if you want to know what Pataras do, what divisionals are, what the schedule is, all of that will be on there. And with that, I've been Dorgard. I've been Malachi. See ya. Thank you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.